All right, so we're gonna get sidetracked from Leg the Spider and go help DeWood real quick, because he's apparently right there. What a coincidence. All right. So you broke out of town with a gun. You, you had me get you a gun. You broke out of town. You were a general dick. And now, here you are screwing over your own family again. You're really bad at this whole, like, survival thing, aren't you? Remember when you were in a relatively safe place earlier? Ooh. Alcohol and chips. I got a burger. That was a burger? I misjudged what I was looking at. A anything coming after me right now? No. So Dude's probably in this building downstairs, so I'm, I'll, I'll look for stairs in a moment. But I see something lighting up over here. Ooh, statue. Alright. More progress at a collectible that's probably pointless, but I'll take it. Because I have issues. Bordering on OCD, but only in the context of video games, so it's not real. Ah. Uh, ooh, there's something else shiny in here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Am I about to get swarmed, or is that just something happening outside? That's not a- oh! Wow, lockpicking minigame is losing its mind. I I've never seen a glitch out like that before. Come on. I don't like the sounds, let's get you open. The- the cheapness of, uh... The cheapness of, uh, individual upgrades in this game. Ooh, two pouches. Okay. Alright, that surprised me. I'm just gonna close this door. Alright. The cheapness of, uh, lockpicks in this game, uh, when, when you just go through and just start buying a bunch of them, completely nullifies the point of having them as, like, breaking one as being a, be a punishment for failure when you, in the, uh, minigame, because you can, you get, you get them so easily that it's just kind of not, not a thing. Are more of them coming? How did I make that much noise? Normally they swarm you in that context when, when something happens. They could also be from the W. Yeah, I saw you on the mini-map. You're not sneaking up on me. There we go. Huh. How's that for reflexes? Ah, uh, what? I'm being spit on. Ah, uh, from downstairs. Search him real quick. More cigarettes. Ow. I'm just being rude. Alright, we need to get down there really quick. Down we go. The big yellow bus of fuck you. Alright, that took care of him. Here comes the runner. Is he down? He's down. Alright. So we need to get to Dawood, who's getting his ass kicked right now. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Okay, things are going bad now. Things are going bad now. Hopping over a wall. We need some distance for a quick heal. Oh, there's an airdrop over here. Alright, maybe we'll just get some supplies real quick while we're in the area. Dawood can wait. I mean, he waited like half the game for me to pick up a gun. And that was all they expected me to do in that whole first half of the game, too. You give him one gun, and then he's like, Alright, see you in the second zone. It's like, oh, damn. Alright, so that guy exploded, making a bunch of noise, meaning we're gonna have even more friends visiting now. So really nothing about this is going well for me. But I'm a pretty high level character, so I think I can get away with it, maybe? We'll see how it goes. Don't you dare spit on me. Down. Alright, so here's here's where I get my combat experience. I have a lot of medkits, so I can get away with it. Down you go. We still have a fair amount of durability, so I'm, I'm hanging in there. Uh, where's the red guy over here? I see you. Ow. Go, just, just go down. That poison's pesky. Ooh, look at that down there. Let's make let's make fun. Oh wait, that's all water down there. How how are they burning? Yeah, I saw you on the map. I'm not falling for your shit. <laughs> I've, I apparently fell back into the swing of things pretty quickly in this game, because like I said, I haven't played in like two weeks, and I'm apparently getting back in. Can I just throw at them from here? I just- I just don't care about the- I don't care about these throwing axes, they just kind of keep throwing up in my inventory. And I'd rather throw these than actually, uh, get rid of them. Cause I don't think throwing weapons really sell for much, so I'd rather just use them. <laughs> hey buddy. Buddy. Yeah, I don't like- I'm not a- not a fan. Back to my grappling hook. Whee! Oh. Whee! Hey friend. Are you down? Not down? You down now? You gonna blow? Oh! <laughs> that that guy chose poorly. Is he still alive over there? This game's just fun. I forgot how fun this game is. It's not as it's not as mechanically complicated as a lot of the other games I play on this channel, but it's just there's a kinetic there's a kinetic fun to it that they never accomplished in Dead Island. The first two Dead Island games just never have the like the the shit what just happened there like running around with a grappling hook, getting it dealing with multiple incoming attackers like that, dodging away, having exploding explosions draw more in. Uh, Having one of these guys have like a timed explosion from their gas tank that detonates right when someone walks over it like this. <laughs> so that's that. 
whenever, at least from what I played Dead Island, this, this kind of fun shit just never happened. Where I'm having like a really cool moment to moment uh, experience here, even when we're not necessarily getting a quest done. Where is this, uh, uh, this box I'm looking for? I guess I'll just ping the area. Are you, is it on the body? Nope. Somewhere around right here. There's supposed to be a drop. Oh, there it is. Found it. So we're getting bad noises, so I'm gonna try to lock this as fast as possible. Oh, there we go. Worked out for me. Give me my drop. We're gonna get so much survivor experience when I get back to a quartermaster. Do they have a quartermaster in that in that tower area? I'm not sure. Are we still near Dawood? Close enough. What's this, what's this one down here? Meet Michael. In this, we'll get to that one in a, in a minute. All right, I already I just I just said I was gonna do Dawood, so we're gonna stick to it. All right, hopping over this fence. Let's do a quick heal. I think I've earned it. <laughs> we're definitely we're definitely running lower on medkits than I like to because we're actually getting closer to 20 than 30. Because I like to try to maintain a lead on that. Oh, there we go. That's probably where he is. This seems like a hiding spot for Dawood. Or is this the same room I was... Is this the same floor I was on before? No, there's, there's, un there's unopened stuff here. It's probably a good sign for me. Probably also going to get swarmed in a second here. I'll try to keep an eye on the map while I scavenge. To see if any of those stop, stop being downstairs and start being up here. Alcohol. Anything? Any notes? Open you up. Ooh, coffee. I really need to, and that Halva will help heal me up. I need to, uh... I should, what's happening? Oh, there's another one? Oh, that's the one that I tried to get earlier when it was night time, when it was about to start become nighttime and everything became bad for me. Let's just throw fire at it. So, someone made the observation that I just deal with problems by throwing fire at them. I say that's the best, that's just the best solution for most problems. Get on my level. <laughs> Ooh. This could be fun. How do you like being in your little hole? Where is he exactly? Oh, there he is. Is it leaking? Oh, yep, it, it blew up. I see you. You're not sneaking up on me. Alright, so I failed to kill the guy, but well, I did attract people with noise, so... Basically, negative progress. But I do more or less one-shot people. We're firmly in Walking Dead territory where everyone gets killed by one quick headshot, so... I've clearly become an experienced survivor at this point. I just need to deal, deal with the actual goddamn threat. Hey, friend. Blow that up. You're not gonna blow it up? Ah. You have one job. Blow your shit up. Down. Get out of my way. Anyone else? Anyone else want some? I see you. Oh, there you go. I see you. Sneaky, sneaky. They really do. Oh, there's another one. Hello. I'll wait for you. I'm patient. There we go. We're done yet? Wow, now there's people fighting. This is an incredibly eventful zone. I don't remember it being this rapid pace before. Blow yourself up. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. It's gonna make it difficult to deal with the, uh... It's gonna make it a little difficult to deal with the, the uh... The lock picking though, if they're, if they're gonna be attacking me in waves now, again. Hello, friend. Oh, Jesus. I didn't see him. Alright, so upstairs, someone around here is in trouble now? Uh oh, so I, I activated a fence trap somewhere. There it is. All right, that'll keep me safe for a moment, from one direction. I'll take a quick detour. I, I still need to do the airdrop in a second here, but someone's in trouble, and that's not, and that is not a, uh, that's not a grappling hook. Come on, grab something. Uh oh. Oh, I ca all right. That's better than I, that's better than it looked like it was going to be for a second there. I need to go higher. Okay. Higher we go. So where's this guy that's in trouble? Now he's now he's lower than me. Make up your mind. Hello, friend. All right, you guys look like you're gonna be a problem, so I'm just gonna light you on fire. It's just so effective. Why would you? What what other solution do you need? Hello, friend. You're on fire, and now you're stabbed. I'm multitasking. I guess it's a problem for the hostage though inside. If if he's on fire, so I need to lure out the bad guy so I can catch him on fire. Hey, bad guy. Hey, bad guys. Come get me. Come get me. Ah, fuck it. I know how to solve this problem. Get out of my world because you're causing problems. I don't like you. Get out of here. Wow, you take bullets really well. <laughs> oh yeah, you can aim. I forgot. Hey, buddy. Alright. You alright, buddy? 
Stop crying, you gotta get up. All these zombies are gonna come now because I made a bunch of noise. You should really get up, buddy. Oh, I didn't fix this. Uh, fix that up. Survivor. Can I kick you? You need to wake up. It's important. <laughs> it's danger, Will Robinson. Uh, you have, they drop any cool upgrades around here? Who? Uh, this machete has what damage? 227. It's probably better than something in my inventory, right? Vegetable cleaver? Yeah. Get out of here, vegetable cleaver. I don't need you. I got a machete. You need to get up, buddy. Get up. It's really hard to save you if you just sit around like a jackass. Oh well, I'm done. I am over him. If he can't take care of himself, I can't do it for- I, I mean, I literally can't do it for him. That machete sucks. I need to go back for that airdrop now. If I'm lucky, some of the guys that showed up because of all the noise will be, will have dispersed at this point. It's actually fun not to do side quests in this game. Just wandering around dealing with all the crazy shit happening around you in this particular zone. Because it's so packed with stuff happening, it's actually pretty fun. Part of it could be just me getting... being kind of missing this game. So now that I'm getting back into it, I'm like, yeah, look at all this stuff I used to do. Hey, friend. Wait, are you good or bad? You're not reacting to me. Are you good? You must be good, because you're not reacting. Are you the other guy I was supposed to save? Is the other guy gonna lie on the on the floor and cry all day because you're not you're not reaching him? Cause that's awkward. <laughs> that thing said flammable liquid, so I hit it with a I hit, tried to hit it with a uh, sai. It's just terrible survival skills. Do not, do not do as I say, not as I do, because I do terrible things in this game. Come on. <laughs> so now that we got sidetracked by for, from Dawood to do uh, this box, and then sidetracked to save somebody who is being a jackass. Uh, let's go back to fix it, helping do it again. The thing I said I'd do. Uh, upstairs. So somewhere around here, there's a way into a building. And I can help him. I will say that's one thing I'm not psyched about with this new zone. Is that it seems, it seems to feature a whole lot of, uh... A whole lot of really multi-level build, uh, buildings where, I'm try where you have to try to figure out how to enter and stuff. And it's kind of frustrating. It gets a little into Assassin's Creed Unity territory, which is what I didn't like about... One of the main things I didn't like about the game is that they added huge buildings to a, a platforming game. And you're just like, how do I... How do I enter the place so I can proceed? Because I'm having trouble finding the way in. And finding the way in's not the fun part. It's being inside and wrecking shit. Ooh. Any medkits? Uh, that's like half a medkit. And that's... Stuff. Dude, you in here? There he, Oh, there he is. Alright. I mean, you kind of deserved it, so... That's what you see. You should have taken the rifle when I offered it. Then, then maybe you would have gotten out sooner instead of waiting for a fucking pistol for some reason. Sammy, it's Mr. Crane. Are you in here? Please don't hurt me. Sammy, where you at? Is that you, Sammy? Go away! Leave me alone! Easy, kid. Hey, it's all over. Are you all right? My dad got hurt. He said he was becoming like the other sick people, and that he couldn't protect me anymore. He said if I came out of the cabinet, he would hurt me, but that once he was sick, I'd be safe, because he wouldn't remember I was in there. Your dad saved your life. Where is he? Sammy, he's gone. There's, there's nothing anyone could do. Now listen, I have to get you back to your mom. I wish I could have stayed with her. Ah, oh, and I have to get him back to his mom, but she's in the other zone. Crane. Go ahead. I got a little boy here. He's been through a rough ride. He could use some spoiling. I'll have someone there in five minutes. Can we get him back to his mother at the tower? I'll take him there myself if I have to. Thanks, Troy. Alright, I should really... I should really close these doors. Because he's just in the open right now. Alright, this, this recording over here is probably... The last messages from Dawood. Voicemail number seven. Wait, is it a read? Do I read it? That's weird. It's a voicemail. Just play it. Do, do they not want to? Oh, okay. It's different. These all have text document things. This might actually be voice. We'll see how it goes. I've never found one before either. This is the seventh one. Wow. My beloved daughter, I know you hate me. I know you think I'm the world's worst mother. Now. Now that I'm dying, I want you to know the truth. I did not consent to you donating Barrett Bone Marrow for Hakan because... because you are not his daughter. It would not have matched. Uncle Adrian is your father. Seek him out and he will explain everything. 
Well, that's a nice little heartfelt moment. The voice that and that explains why it's in that in the uh, the reading section because the voicemail is in a different language, so you need to read the translation to understand it. Granted, they could have just they could have had it in English because half this whole game has been pretty much in English, regardless of the fact that it's supposed to be a mixed a mix of crazy different cultures all in one place. But it's a nice little it's a nice little touch. It's always a bummer. That it's oh, it's always slightly a bummer though to have a. Uh, Subtitles are always kind of a bummer to me, and that, that's what that kind of was. A lot of people complain, like, like stupid Americans don't like subtitles because they're stupid, and, like, they, they kind of cheat and be con kind of saying to people who are not on the side of subtitles. Especially if you talk about, like, anime people, or, like, you gotta watch the anime in the original Japanese because it sounds really dumb because everyone's screaming all the time, and it's like, the demer- <laughs> like, it's, it's funny to me because people are like, the American one has bad voice acting, but the the, Engl the Japanese one, that's great voice acting. Listen to all that screaming they do. That's acting. Uh, but uh, the problem with subtitles is that if you don't understand the word, the, the, if you don't understand the messages word for word, then you don't know what the, you don't know what the, the emphasis is on. Like, you don't know which part, like, you, you hear, a, you hear like a Japanese person grunting and screaming, but then crying and making all these different noises and stuff. And it's like, well, I don't know which... I have to infer which parts of the sentence w certain syllables were that they emphasize are, and I, it's not the same effect as just hearing it in your own language. It's not a, so it's not a matter of stupid, it's a ma matter of wanting a proper performance, and if you can't understand the performance th uh, fully, because there's more to there's more to human communication than just words, there's also the, uh, the element of uh, instead of just words, there's the element of like inflections and all the, all the different th ways that we communicate that are nonverbal, or even different elements of being verbal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip the sewers thing for now. I'm kind of curious about these, uh... I'm curious about the objects for the conspiracy theorists, but I'm also... I might want to just focus on Jade again? Let's do the next, let's do the next story mission. It's been a little while. Oh, it's conveniently... Oh, that is the sewer one. Okay, fine. We'll go meet him in the sewers. Hello, friend. Get out of here. Rude, get away from me. Yeah, fine. Let's go do the sewer thing. I've done a few story. I've done a few side missions, so let's do another story one. So, so what, what I'm talking about kind of happened there is that like, it's a nice touch to ha to hear the original language in the background, but ultimately you're just hearing someone talking in a low voice, in sort of a monotone, and you can't really make sense of what they're saying, so you don't really get emotional resonance from it, and instead it all comes from the text. So unfortunately, the. Uh, the context of, aside from the context of it being left as a voicemail, that which is fun, which is interesting because you don't know if it was actually listened to or not. Uh, aside from that, there's not really much to draw from the performance, which is kind of a bummer. And that's why it's good to have stuff in English, if you, if you're targeting English people, of course. That's that's one thing I like about uh, Resident Evil, the because uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of the Resident Evil games for like a hundred different reasons, but. Uh, they're really good about, like, with Resident Evil, like, 6, and I believe 5, and definitely Revelations and Revelations 2, they localized them to, like, every language for the voice acting. Like, for, like, six languages, which is amazing. Because that's, that's some, that's some, uh, that's some commitment. You need some, re obviously, you need a lot of resources to do that kind of stuff, though. So we're heading to the sewers. Because of, because of what we found out on the transmission, on the transmission. We're trying to light a signal that tells the outside world that survivors are in here so they, don't, they can't get away with just killing us all.